So I've told you what to look out for, I've told you what I have signed up for, and now we are going to compare and list, according to gununiversity.com, the top concealed carry insurance policy. So here we go. Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel where our goal is to provide relevant education and accurate information for all things self-defense from the civilian perspective for civilians. My name is Craig. Yes, you heard that right. I found a great article, scourged the interwebs for you guys and found a good one from a lawyer from gununiversity.com and I'm just gonna present that information to y'all. He actually has compared and ranked uh, five uh, concealed carry insurance companies. I wanna present that to y'all. There's gonna be a company in here that you probably have never heard of. He also left out a sixth company, uh, Firearms Legal Protection. He did not put that in his list. And I'm curious as to why, because I've seen that quite a bit and some well-respected people promote that. I did a quick comparison on Firearms Legal Protection and it looks like it does meet all the criteria. So that might be a good option, even though this individual didn't cover it, that might be a good option for you. Uh, I've provided a PDF from uh, concealedcarry.com, Riley Bowman, uh, put together kind of a comprehensive comparison that lists a lot more than what's on this video. So check them out, it might be a good option for you. Another thing too, they had said after they ranked all of these insurance companies, one of them pulled their affiliate membership because they gave them such a bad review. And you'll figure out which one that is at the end. One last thing before we begin, guys, you can find this information anywhere on the interwebs. There's a bunch of places that list comparing insurance companies, what's the best ones or whatnot. And I want to tell you this because the goal of this video is to provide you the information so that you can make the decision for yourself. Don't do what I do, your situation, your family is different. I will tell you this though, if you see any website or any article, blog post or whatnot that recommends, even though it doesn't exist anymore, the NRA Carry Guard, that was an insurance that the NRA had kind of pushed for uh, concealed carriers. If you see somebody or an article or a website saying that the NRA Carry Guard is recommended or whatnot, just discard any other information within that article because that is flawed. If you want to know some more about it, guys, you can search Andrew Bronca. Uh, he talks about it quite a bit. But anyway, without no further ado, we're going to rank them and list uh, from, according to this, gununiversity.com, from one to five. So I've got my notes. Here we go. So there are three criteria that this person used when selecting concealed carry insurance. Uh, so the first one is one, your ability to pick your own lawyer, which is key. You want to kind of vet the person that uh, is going to be representing you. Number two, you need immediate access to funds. So either to post bail or to get your trial started. There are some insurance companies out there that make you front the money and then they reimburse you. So that is key, providing upfront and immediate funds to get the process started and to get you out. There's a third one that this person recommends and it's a per diem. So the um, basically it pays you for the days that you cannot work. Uh, that's not necessarily as important to me, but it might be to you and it is to this guy. And I wanna provide to y'all a fourth criteria, which I believe is very, very important. It's about the network. Who are their legal experts? Who are their subject matter experts? The people within that network that they can pull that can help you with your case. Those are kind of the four criteria. I added that last one, but here we go. So the first pick for this individual is CCW Safe, and one of the reasons why they picked it is because they're unlimited and upfront coverage of certain legal expenses. Uh, they also let you pick your own lawyer. However, it has to be vetted by them. I get that. They want to make sure that uh, you know the the person that you are selecting to represent you aligns with their values and, and meets their criteria. So I get that. Uh, you do get money up front to get the process started right away and they do give you, uh, think a $250 per diem. Uh, so basically pays you when you are out of work. They also have what they quote, a uh, quote unquote dream team of experts that they can pull from for you know testimonies, expert witnesses, subject matter experts. So we talked about that. Uh, I think the only con to this, it's a little bit higher end for all these services. Uh, but you get what you pay for guys. So uh, that is the first one. So number two, and y'all probably might not have heard of this one, is second call defense. Uh, one of the reasons why this uh, individual put this as number two, because it meets his three criteria. You get to pick your own attorney, uh, upfront costs, 
and you do get a per diem. The only downside though, guys, now they do have tiers, but he considers this more of a, uh, a budget or a bare bones insurance policy. So while it still meets his criteria, uh, the, the limits of coverage uh, with this policy are not necessarily as much as other plans, but um, it does meet his criteria and it seems like a pretty good option. And that's probably one of the reasons why you haven't heard of it. It's because they don't do as much advertising uh, than other people. And that allows them to keep their funds delegated uh, to their defense fund. So number three, my pick is the Armed Citizens Legal Defense Network. One of the reasons why he did not pick uh, this a little bit higher, and I'm not upset at all, is because uh, Armed Citizens Legal Defense Network does not give you a per diem uh, if you are unable to work. They do give you the ability to pick your own attorney. They do give you upfront money to start the bail process and the legal process uh, for your court case. The number four criteria, which is why I picked them, is because of who is in their network, their expert witnesses. Marty Hayes, Tom Gibbons, Masad Ayub, guys, those are some of the most well-respected names in firearms education and training uh, within the country. And so uh, I highly, I highly respect those people. It's good to know that uh, I would have them looking at uh, my case in the event that something does happen. They do have good limits um, on their coverage, so there's really not anything to be concerned about that. One thing that people might object to is that their limit is half of what their defense fund is, but their defense fund is pretty, pretty stinking big. So uh, it's really not something you should worry about. So number four is a little bit controversial. And the reason why I say that is because there's some lists that actually rank this a little bit higher than this individual, but nonetheless, and that is the USCCA, the United States Concealed Carry Association. Uh, this individual said they actually used to recommend it as number two, but due to some of the changes in their terms and conditions, which we'll talk about briefly, uh, they can no longer recommend them uh, higher up on the list. They do meet the criteria, so they let you pick your own attorney, they give you a per diem, and they give you money up front. But let's talk about those terms and conditions. So the thing is, is the limits, uh, your coverage limits are not posted anymore. So don't really know uh, what those, you know, what that monetary number is of, uh, of coverage for you. Also, and here's a crazy one, they reserve the right to make you pay back, I think up to 90% of the funds that you have been given if you have been found guilty. And I know some of y'all are kind of thinking, oh, well, that kind of sounds stupid. But a lot of times, depending on how the jury is set up or whatnot, uh, you might not get a solid trial first time. And so you might have to appeal that decision. So that's just something to consider. So uh, like I said, they meet the three criteria, but you don't know what the limits are. And then also the possibility of you being found guilty and having to pay those funds back. That, I think, was the deal breaker for this individual. But like I said, other places, this you know, USCCA comes highly recommended. So yeah, difference of opinions. So number five is US Law Shield, formerly known as Texas Law Shield. The reason why this is last on the list is because two of his three criteria they do not cover. They do not let you pick your own attorney and there is no per diem. Now it is a good economical option. So their costs uh, for their coverages uh, are a lot lower compared to some others and their coverages are decent but going back to what the uh, author picked as his deal breakers, that was a no-no. As I mentioned before in this video, there was an affiliate that pulled their link after this individual posted uh, this article because they came at uh, the bottom of the list. And so read between the lines on that one. Also, there have been reports of people having their policies dropped uh, without any notice. And so that's kind of crazy when you think you have insurance. It's kind of like you guys, when you, you know, your car insurance, you think you've got insurance, but it's lapsed and whatever, and you get into a car accident. It's kind of the same thing. So uh, there have been reports of people that have, like I said, had their policies uh, not renewed or dropped without notice. So that is why they are number five on the list. And then once again, guys, uh, the last one, the number six that they did not cover is, uh, firearms legal protection. Do your due diligence on that one. But yeah, just a quick rundown on the different options, different comparisons, according to uh, this individual from 
GunUniversity.com. Like I said, I agree with some of these things, some of the things I don't, but it is a good litmus test to go off of and to figure out what's good uh, and what you might not want to go with. So guys, make your own decisions. Nonetheless, I hope this video has been informative for you. If it has, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, please share this with any of your friends and family. Like I said, our goal is to get edu good education and information out to the public. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. We'll catch you on the next one.